It's me, PJ Holden, and I am going to show you how to do um, a very simple perspective grid on a comic panel. Um, this uh, is it's a trick. Um, it's not perfect, but it doesn't often matter. Um, first thing I'll do is I'm just going to, because I'm drawing this for a video, so you can see it, I'm just going to mark out a very simple panel. Okay, um, And what we're aiming for is say for example I'll draw on a Spider-Man like that Whee! and um, some buildings in perspective like that there okay so that's the target and the trick there is we need perspective going this way and perspective going that way now if this was a normal comic page that would be one panel in amongst many and some of the perspective points might be way way off the page um, so they might be, um, for example, here, the perspective point is actually off the page here. But if this was a larger panel, it might be way off the page, way over there somewhere, you can't even see it. So what we're going to do is the trick to this as well. In fact, we might even make this a bit off kilter and make it a wee bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is draw a simple, um, very simple eye level, which is down here. That's our eye level. Okay, uh, now if I was drawing a parallel line to that, you'll see that that eye level is actually off kilter, or famously a Dutch angle. Now the trick to this perspective grid, or to the perspective here, is that what we're going to do is draw parallel lines either side of the panel, uh, par not parallel lines, yeah, parallel lines either side of the panel to 90 degrees to the eye level. All right. And again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw it with pen, although that's idiotic and you should draw it with pencil but I'm drawing it with pen just purely so you can actually see what I'm doing so that's one there and the other one which I'll draw right there okay Right. So now we've got that. <coughs> Our vanishing points are going to be way over here and way over here. Okay. Uh, and this is the panel area here. I'll draw that. This is the actual panel. So that's the bit that we're going to draw our figures into. Um, so the first step then is now we've got these parallel lines is to mark on them points. The points here should be smaller than the points here. That's for this perspective. So what we're doing is actually we're marking points like this. So uh, the easiest way to do this is with a tiny compass. So you mark a bunch of points. with a compass. The other way of doing it is with a ruler and measuring those points out. Um, you could measure for example they could be that's actually about eight uh, millimeters so you could measure eight millimeters for every single one of those points but that's a lot of hard sums and can be long and difficult. Then we've got to do on the other side but on the other side we make this ruler this, this compass a little larger so that's uh, actually about uh, 11 and a half so again with the parallel lines or with the, the markings now I haven't done it but you could I mean this is going to go that'll be one two three four and that'll be one two three four because the next step is to draw lines where they meet so I'll do that with this blue ruler, or with this blue pencil. You could, and if you're smart you'll do this, you'll use a pencil to draw these lines. Um, or you can use a very light blue marker, uh, which will, on most computer scanners, will actually disappear when you scan that in. And you can see here, very quickly, that in this instance the vanishing point is probably over here somewhere. But you could make those lines shallower, so your, your uh, 
What do you call it? Your point is even further away? I'll just mark off a couple more. And again, you can do it the other way around here. You can go down the ways. There you go. And that very quickly gives me a set of uh, converging lines. Now, I have <clears throat> just reaching around for clues that have fallen here. Uh, what I can now do is using um, right angle, uh, what do you call it? Um, one of these things, right angle triangle. Um, I can now mark off, say, roughly a box. So we'll say this is roughly a box. Right. What we can then do is, so we've drawn one, this is one, this is going to be one sort of unit of measurement. Using a pencil, <coughs> what we can do is, if I do a, a pencil line that the bisects those two corners, what that will do for me is, if I then draw a parallel line where that where that line has gone up and bisected this one. And the next one. And if you want, you can draw more of those. Like so. So now I've got one perspective grid. And then you can do the reverse. And you can do the other side of that. And it's exactly the same process. Um, I rub out the pencil lines then. And in fact, you can use the same two parallel lines, but you're going to have to mark new markings on them. Um, and let's see, so this time, this time since we're drawing this, what we're going to do is mark smaller markings here and larger ones on this one. This time we'll keep this quite shallow, which means that the, um, if the difference is very shallow, if the difference between this side and this side is very shallow, then it means that the perspective lines are even further away, further off the page potentially in a different building if you if you do it shallow enough. So one, two, three, four, five. Expand that a little fraction. There you go. And now we can draw the opposite lines. And what I'll do is I'll use a different colour. I actually got a paler blue, but we'll try, we'll try for something different here. Oh. Use a hot pink. Hot pink.
And again with this, we can do exactly the same for the parallel lines. This isn't, I haven't drawn this, I could have gone much, much further up here. I've only drawn it to there. But we can draw parallel lines in that will give us a grid. Let's go with the same center point here. And to there, which is... And then again, we can draw bisecting the two corners. We can have parallel lines through everywhere the pencil line bisects the pink. So now we've got our two uh, sets of grids. Um, where it gets confusing is when you have these overlaying on each other. And if you'd drawn all this in pencil, you could rub all that out now. You could rub out all the surrounding stuff and you'd be left with nothing but a grid. Um, you can then draw whatever it is you want on there. Oh, Spider-Man. And you've now got a bunch of lines that will help you guide the buildings that you're going to draw for Spider-Man to leap between. Um. There you go. And one synced up. Let's see. I'll use, a, I'll use a bright red ink. Huh? you think those up. There we go, and there's our simple, super quick perspective grid on a uh, panel. Bye.